been a disappointing result for Essex in the CB40, their first home game of the season when we played Worcestershire. Mark, you scored uh, 64, put on 80-odd with Alastair Cook for the first wicket. That really should have laid the foundations uh, for a substantial score and ultimately the win. Yeah, we would have hoped so. It was a, it was a nice start until I ran him out. But uh, um, unfortunately, after that, we, we didn't manage to build the partnerships we'd have liked in the middle period. And we ended up, uh, well, I'd imagine 40 at least runs short. Um, and unfortunately, yeah, we, we were struggling to defend 180 today. Yes, indeed. And uh, it has to be said, I think our bowling attack didn't uh, in any way uh, match theirs. I mean, they they bowled some good line and lengths here, didn't they? Yeah, they, they bowled very well on that wicket. You know, they, they adapted well. They, they set good fields. And, and the bowlers, um, you know, that they, they excused their skills well on that pitch. Um, and, and I think we, we probably didn't execute ours as, as well as they did. Um, but, you know, Timmy Phillips bowled well, uh, which, which was good to see. Um, and, uh, yeah, 180 was always going to be tough. Yes, indeed. And uh, just looking overall at the season, it's still early days, of course. One of the most satisfying uh, factors has been your own personal form. You came into this particular game uh, on a high, for, well, 90-odd against Kent. I mean, so tantalisingly close to getting that century. Uh, but a half-century in the a previous game at Glamorgan, which, uh, where you kept Alviro company in a very, very gritty performance there. Um, I know you spent the winter in Zimbabwe, but you've, you've brought some good form back. Yeah, I've been hitting the ball really really well and it's, it's been nice to transfer the work I've done in the nets and, and the practice when I've been hitting the ball well there to, into the runs in the middle you know our, our batting unit as a whole we we had a great preparation to the year but it's tough when you got with the wickets we've been playing on so much rain around you know early season it, it's been it's been tough for us but um Alvira it's great having a guy like that come over and, and it's 140 hopefully sets the, the platform for other guys it, we had it with Hashim Amla a couple of years ago when uh, when he scored a lot of runs and it, it gave the others confidence yes indeed well so that uh, partnership with Alvira uh, Cookie was probably his last game uh, maybe for the season but certainly for the long while um, you're the man in form a uh, bit more responsibility on your shoulders yeah absolutely it's of course and uh, you know when you're in good form it's responsibility to to get the big scores and and make the sure the team gets up up to a score that that the bowlers then have got a chance of of defending or 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 in four day cricket of, of you know bowling the side out um with and you know we'll move on next week to Leicester and, and hopefully we'll, we'll go again and, and regroup and, and have a good week yes indeed I mean that's one consolation I think uh, our, our season's been very stop start hasn't it uh, but that's indicative of all around the country so perhaps nobody's actually uh, had the opportunity to get away from anybody in championship cricket no absolutely not you know we've only f we're only five games down and, and there's a lot of cricket to be played for sure um, in rest left in the season so you know in division two you, you put a few wins together and, and string those results together and you, you can move up the tail very quickly. Yeah, Mark, very, thanks for your time. Good to see you scoring so many runs again and uh, we'll catch up with you again shortly.